Hello everyone and welcome to my channel. In this video I will compare which lens is the best for astrophotography. I have the Sigma 16mm 1.4 and the Samyang 12mm 2.0. There are a lot of YouTube videos about these two lenses, but I wanted to test them under the best conditions, so I flew to La Palma. Due to the low light pollution, La Palma is a very suitable for astrophotography. I will do some various adjustments in ISO, shutter speed and aperture. For a better comparability, I have compared two images with a 2.0 aperture at the end. You will see the photos in RAW on the camera and then edit it. For a better comparison, I used the preset that I created by myself. So have fun with the video. So now I'm standing here in La Palma one of the darkest areas all over the world and I want to test the Sigma 16mm against the Samyang 12mm. What I will do is to shoot the Milky Way It's in front of me. Uh, we we can't see it here on, on the on the film, but I will do some tests. You see I have the F one point four. I will shoot for fifteen seconds. And I've put the ISO of 500. Let's wait for the result. So we see here now the result of the camera. Beautiful. Now I will test some other ISO and let's see the result of this test. Now I have put the ISO on 1000 for 10 seconds. Let's see the difference. 15 seconds ISO 500, 10 seconds ISO 1000. Now I will put F2.0 to make the comparison to the Samyang. This is ISO 1000, F2.0 and 50 seconds. Let's see if I can run it for 20 seconds with a lower ISO. This is completely underexposed. See here, ISO 500, 20 seconds, f2.0. The first one, 50 second, ISO 1000. Okay, I will test it also with 1000. Clearly better, 500, 1000. Very good. Okay, let's try the Samyang. Now I have mounted the Samyang 12mm. The first test will be 20 seconds f2.0 and ISO 1000. We're finished. Not so bad, but a little bit underexposed. I will try a um, higher ISO. Much, much better. And you see the difference. ISO 2500, ISO 1000. Okay, it's looked a little bit overexposed, but the result is very good.
As you have seen, both lenses take very good and sharp photos. Of course, the Sigma has an autofocus, but you can't use it in astrophotography anyway. But you currently have to pay almost twice as much for the Sigma instead of the Samyang. In my point of view, if you are searching a cheap lens only for astrophotography, you can go with Samyang. Hope you liked this video. If you have any questions, write them in the comments down below. I will try to answer them all. See you next time.